As you've probably already guessed, today we'll be talking about the famous Nanasubushi and why it is rapidly becoming the best excursion train in Kyushu. First of all, you should know that it wasn't just named the seven stars on a whim. The name reflects both the seven prefectures of Kyushu as well as the fact that the train is just seven cars long and seats just 28 people. Talking about pleasing symmetry. Anyway, while the train officially started chugging along on the 15th of October 2013, it is more popular than it has ever been before due to the resurgence of luxury travel. And trust me, this train is the epitome of luxury. It took a stunning 3 billion yuan to build this device, and its current design was conceived by the brilliant mind of industrial designer Eji Mitoka. With so much money spent on the construction of this train, you can't expect that it would be cheap to ride. A mere four days on the Kyushu 7 Stars will cost you a shocking 5,400 US dollars, while a two-day trip will set you back just about 2,500 US dollars. Even with this somewhat ludicrous price, you still can't just walk in and expect to get a ride. You have to book for a seat well in advance and hope you're lucky. I can tell you that this hassle is well worth it, because once you take a look at the award-winning Gang Ruizzi designs and the intricacy of the detailing, you might think you're in the finest of hotels. It combines classic Japanese themes with a splash of Western elegance, so you get a space that is at once comfortable and refined. Every room has a shower, toilet, and air conditioner, but unfortunately you can't find the seatbelt for the toilets. It's the only downside. You get access to five sleeping cabins, a lounge car, as well as a dining car. There are three rooms in a car and a grand total of 12 suites. You are also treated to world-class hospitality and care, even down to the speed at which the train travels, which is a carefully calculated 60 miles per hour, just enough to provide a scenic view of the countryside. The last room on the train has a window on the side that presents what is probably the best view on the train and the facilities are just amazing. Seriously, even the toilets on the Nanasubushi have wood finishes and remote control. The shower does as well and it is the little touches, such as the lattice at the bottom which separates the drainage and the water and the base of the shower from your feet so you're not standing in shower water and that really sells it for me. When you're all refreshed from your shower, you can feast your eyes on the menu with the specially themed Japanese meals prepared by the finest of chefs. You can get exquisite sashimi and sushi made from the Kyushu seafood or you can decide to wander off a bit for an optional tour of the nearby towns. If you prefer to just sit back on the train and enjoy live music, magic, cocktails and general lounging, that's also an option. Sounds like a dream, right? All you need to do to make this dream a reality is start to save up for the fare, book well in advance, and launder your best smart casual wear. You can wear a kimono or a yukaya if you prefer, as decent dressing is mandatory. Once you have all these things ready, then brace yourself for a trip that covers all the above entertainment options plus the opportunity to view hot springs, scenic volcanoes, and onsens on what is guaranteed to be the best experience of your life. Are you still here? You can suggest new topics for us in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, make sure to show your support with the super thanks button and watch even more videos by clicking in the windows appearing on the screen right now.